Hi everybody and welcome to this new Mystica Boutique tutorial. In this video we are going to see how to set up Mystica Workflows as the main background render tool. So first of all we have to configure Mystica Boutique so it sends the R&D files to a Mystica Workflows watch folder when we click on Add to Render Queue. Let's go to the Output tab and open the RAM Batch Configurator. We have to select the option that sends the R&D files to a Mystica Workflows dedicated watch folder and then specify a folder for it. I've created one called Watch Folder. That's all for now in Mystica Boutique. Let's switch to Mystica Workflows. In the canvas, we have to create a Watcher node and then connect it to a Mystica Render node. Then we have to select the exact same folder for the Watcher node. Now I will help Mystica Workflows and write in the Include parameter to only process the R&D files. Now we can click on Add to Render Queue and we are set to go. Now I can make a render and click on Add to Render Queue instead of Foreground. And as soon as Mystica Workflows finishes the job, in Mystica Boutique we can click on the Flash Cache button so we can have access to the render. Now let's make things a bit more complicated. We can connect a different task node to the Mystica Render node. For example, I will make an NVIDIA H264 file with the name and the TC burned in the image and then move it to a shared folder with my client. Now let's do the job and let's check that with only one render we can see that the final destination is on the client's folder. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please consider subscribing if you want to keep up with the news about Mystica Boutique and Mystica Workflows and as always, enjoy Mystica!